What's going on, gang? Matt McCoy, country song teacher. I hope you're doing well. It's a sad day in country music. We lost the legend, uh, Toby Keith, to stomach cancer. Um, I actually met Toby um, years ago at Dollywood, and he said happy birthday, um, happy birthday to me on stage. It was pretty cool in front of the whole crowd there at the um, little indoor place there at Dollywood. He seemed like a really nice guy. Um, he was like, oh, yeah, no problem. I'll say it up there. And he said happy birthday to me in front of the crowd and stuff. And he has so many cla classic songs. Like I said, I could do 20, 30, 40 songs of his that are awesome. I'm going to teach a beginner's one. I've taught this song several times, but if you're just starting out with a guitar and you're looking for a Toby Keith song kind of playing his memory, this one I always go back to. And what's it's cool, it's just, this is actually my four chord song, but volume two. But it's just two, it's three chords. You want to lock in the two bottom strings and go fifth and sixth. And it's down, down, up. Then put your first finger down to the third string. Down, down, up. Then go to a C at nine. I call it a C. So it's just like your G, but it's fourth and fifth. Down, down, up. Then back to D. So I love this song. The song obviously should have been a cowboy, but I... It has like a cowboy kind of feel. I need to kind of galloping on the rain on the ranch or something. You know what I mean? So the whole song is just G D C D G D. Should have been a cowboy. Should have learned to rope and ride. I'd be wearing my six shooter, riding my pony on a cattle drive, stealing a young girl's heart, just like she. That's a great little song. If you struggle with up strums and you're a beginner, trust me, I get it. <laughs> I'm telling y'all for years, I cannot strum up. So, I... just your down strums. You're doing all it is a two count. Should have been a cowboy. Should have learned to rope and ride. I'd be wearing my six shooter, riding my pony on a cattle drive. You get it. Versus, same thing. So remember, guys, I teach this often. If you can just master that second and third fret, you're stabilizing that guitar and just going, and you're moving those top two fingers. With all your hand, you're, the, your first, this, and when you label your hand and guitar, this is one and two. Um, these two fingers are the easiest to move, the, the, that you have most control with. So by locking in that guitar and just moving the top two, boom, just up and down that guitar, up, down, up, down, up, down, and so forth. It's going to get you playing songs, impressing your friends. Guys, if you're single, it might even get you a girlfriend. I can't promise you, but it'll get you closer. I can promise you that. I bet you never heard old Marshall Dillon say, Miss Kitty, have you ever thought of running away? Settling down, would you marry me? If I ask you twice and make you pretty pretty. She said yes in a New York minute. We never tied a knot. That we say on C, he never hung his head up and killed his play. Now, another thing you probably see me doing there is lagging that first that first finger. I teach this often. This gives what's called musical dimension. Instead of instead of just pounding away on the chords. Notice how I go into that D chord without that first finger press, so. Hear that? Then on that C chord, I'm going straight that middle finger on that fifth string, and I'm adding that, after the strum, I'm adding the first finger. Hear that, so. Add, add, add. On the G, you can add it on that fifth string. So again, whatever string your first finger's playing, lag that after the strum, and it sounds like this. Like I said, if you don't even know the song, this is a great exercise. If you're a beginner, work on that.
by the way, Toby Keith is a believer in Christ. So praise God for that. If you've thought about having a relationship with Christ, let me say this <coughs> excuse me, on my other channel, Acoustic Selection. I've got another YouTube channel called Acoustic Selection. I'm in the middle of 10 days of worship. If you're not on that little movement, please go check that out. I'll put a link in the description below. But I'm doing 10 days of worship on my Acoustic Selection channel. I would love to invite you all. I'm just teaching 10 songs. Um, 10 different, I'm going through 10 different songs and kind of giving Bible verses, doing like a little devotional on each song. So it's really been beneficial to me, kind of helped my walk with the Lord. So if you're, if, you, if you're interested in that, please check out my other channel, Acoustic Selection. Like I said, Toby Keith, I saw him interview after interview, people saying, how are you getting through this when he was going through all the, the treatment for cancer, that kind of thing? He was like, my faith, my faith in Christ. It was always his faith in Christ that kept him just focused um, even when he's going through all the pain, all the struggles. And, and some of you guys and gals out there are going through things let me invite you. A relationship with, with Jesus is what keeps you grounded, keeps you pushing forward through the trials. We all have different trials. There's no, um, Jesus said that in this lifetime you will have troubles, but take heart, I've overcome the world. Um, we're going to have trials, but it's like, what do you do with those? Who do you lean on uh, when everything is, is going wrong and stuff? And that's what Toby says, that his relationship with Christ just made all the difference in the world. So I'm thankful that he, he gave that message. Um, so it's like I said, try to play the song, guys. If you like four chord songs, obviously, like I said, this is from Four Chord Songbook Volume 2. Um, but just don't forget to on those up strums. A lot of people think you got to strum all the strings. Just flip up the bottom two. And I'm also working with my boys right now with piano, and I'm trying to work on keeping a steady, uh, just steady flow of steady rhythm. So even if you go slow, try to keep it steady. Rest in peace, Toby Keith. I'll see you in heaven one day as a fellow believer in Christ. All right, guys, check out the website, countrysongteacher.com. All one word, countrysongteacher.com. I've been working my tail off up here, my firewood business. Might throw me a little line in the water, do a little fishing, and then head back to work. I was listening to a podcast, and, I, and the guy said, the true definition of rich is not waking up to an alarm clock. And I was like, man, that's so true. I tell people, I haven't, had a, I haven't set an alarm. I get up super early. I get up like 4.30 or 5 every morning. Sometimes 5.30. Um, but not getting up to an alarm clock. Man, it just, it, it just if, you can, if you can find something that you can set your mind on and just do and do and do and do and do, like where it's you in control, you doing it for what for some something that God laid on your heart or some passion you have, man, go out and do it. I started YouTube, I think, 15, 16 years ago. And I'm so thankful now I get to make a living doing it. And thanks to you guys that watch my videos and, and, and buy the songbooks and courses, that kind of stuff. So God bless you all. For helping me and give me an amazing life. I don't tell y'all that enough. All right, guys, smash that like button and go to countrysongteacher.com. I'll see you tomorrow. Let's go.